What's up guys, welcome back to Chiefs Chat. Uh, in today's episode, we're talking about the Chiefs' recent win against the Raiders, uh, as well as a couple of hot topics right now among Chiefs Kingdom. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're sitting here, eight and three record, looking like a Super Bowl contender once again. But there's always a couple of things uh, about this Chiefs team every single season that needs to be improved. You know, there's always a couple of things that, you know, we can evaluate about this team, especially sitting here in the middle of the season and, and say, man, you know, this is something that we might be concerned about moving forward as we try to make a push into the playoffs. And uh, I think you guys know where I'm going with this, okay? It's been the biggest topic of discussion among Chiefs Kingdom over the past few weeks and uh, really over the past couple of seasons after Tyreek Hill left. Um, people have really criticized our wide receiver room, you know? Uh, people after Tyreek Hill left, you know, ha have kind of considered the Chiefs to have one of the worst wide receiver groups in the NFL, which I, I guess I can't really argue against as much as I love a lot of these guys. Um, you know, can't really say that we're one of the best um, wide receiver groups in the NFL, especially this season. You know, it, it's been particularly disappointing this season. Um, but after this game against the Raiders, man, uh, I, I feel a little bit better about this group, especially after putting up 31 points and, and especially after finally being able to score in the second half. I don't know if you guys have been paying much attention to the numbers there, but we have been a pretty bad team in the second half. You know, even in wins, it seems like we really slow down in the second half. Uh, but luckily, we were able to get a couple of touchdowns last week in the second half, which felt really good. Um, our offense definitely took a big step up compared to the way we played against the Eagles a couple of weeks ago, okay? Um, but yeah, they, there's still a lot to be concerned about uh, with these Chiefs wide receivers. Of course, Kelsey has been our guy. You know, he's still uh, the leading receiver on this football team uh, by a lot. Um, but but let me let me uh, let me kind of shine some light on a guy who I really think could kind of lead us, you know, out of this seemingly dark era of Chiefs wide receivers, and that's this guy, uh, Rasheed Rice. Okay, what a pickup he was, man. You know, a lot of rumors were flying around about how the Chiefs uh, in this past draft we were looking to trade up uh, for for a top wide receiver, maybe a, a Jordan Addison type guy, you know, maybe a, a Zay Flowers type guy. Um, but we weren't able to do that, and we had to settle for this guy, Rasheed Rice, in the second round. And, and I mean, he might be one of the best, uh, he, shoot, he might be the best rookie wide receiver so far this season. He's been fantastic. You know, he's got 527 receiving yards on the season so far. He's on pace for almost 900 receiving yards on the season. Um, and, and he's already got five touchdowns, and, and, and that would just be a fantastic rookie season for this guy, Rasheed Rice. He has been our most reliable wide receiver. I mean, who saw that coming? This guy, Rasheed Rice, okay, coming in, being the guy for us. Um, you know, and, and I think, you know, in terms of snap count, he's been, uh, you know, he, he's gotten the most because he's been the most reliable. You know, of course, he has a couple of drops. I mean, he had a couple in this game, you know, against the Raiders, you know, it, it, but, but, but that's, that kind of comes with being the guy, you know what I mean? You know, being the guy who gets the most targets. He had 10 targets in this past game against the Raiders. Um, and yes, he did have a couple of drops, but I mean, let's, uh, you know, let, let's not harp on him too much. All of our receivers have had drops. I mean, that's been the main concern with this Chiefs team. Uh, but Rasheed Rice, God, am I just really, really happy with the way that he's been playing. Um, he's, he's just a fantastic athlete. And, and, and a guy who, you know, similar to Tyreek Hill, you, you just put the ball in his hands and he can make plays happen. He's a quick guy. You know, we saw it in this game against the Raiders. You know, he takes a quick slant pass, cuts it upfield, and he gets a touchdown, man. That is the type of play that we haven't really seen much um, from, from our Chiefs wide receivers. And the big play, you know, nobody seemed to talk about this one. The big play that I really looked at and I said, this guy, he could be it, was this play, man, streaking down the sideline, Mahomes puts it on the money, and he goes up and he gets it, man. That's exactly what I feel like we're missing on this team. Obviously, everybody's going to point to the Marquez Valdez scaling drop against the Raiders, or sorry, against the Eagles. Um, but, but that was just one of many examples of times in which Mahomes has put the ball up for our receivers and they haven't been able to bring it down. Um, but this guy, Rasheed Rice, he looks like he could be a guy to do that. I mean, the way that he went up and got that football, that was impressive. Um, and of course, the touchdown, it was nice. It was flashy. It was really, really good to see. Those are the type of plays that I really, really like um, from our Chiefs wide receivers because we've got a guy in Patrick Mahomes who knows how to put the ball where it needs to be. He knows how to put it up. He knows how to make those big plays. All he needs are players who get up and bring it down. Okay, that's that's all he needs, man. That is all he needs for our offense to be successful. And of course, 
we're always gonna have the safety blanket of Travis Kelsey. So we need guys who are able to go down the field and make those big plays. Rasheed Rice is looking like he could be that guy, which is really, really encouraging to see. Um, but as for as for everybody else on the roster, okay, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now. Outside of Rasheed Rice, it's not looking bright for these Chiefs receivers. We've got Sky Moore on the roster. Of course, he's still on his rookie deal, so he might stick around. Um, but I don't know. Outside of him and Rasheed Rice, Brett Veach, I feel like, is going to clear house. You know, Marcos, uh, Marcos Valdez Scanling has one year left on his deal, so maybe he also sticks around. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Everybody else feels like it, it's kind of up in the air. Um, because let's be honest, with the way that this group has performed this season, I, I don't feel like it would hurt us much to just clear house and, and get in a whole new group of guys. I mean, how how could I mean? I don't want to be. Yeah, you know, I, I don't. I don't want to be. Uh, maybe I'm being a little too harsh on our guys here. But it, it's hard to imagine a group of NFL receivers that uh, that could perform uh, much worse than this. To be to be honest, man, and, and I'm saying this. You know, it, it, it pains me to say this. It really does. You know, I like our group of guys, man. Kadarius Tony was a guy who, when we traded for him, man, uh, I saw star potential. You know, I saw a guy who could come out and could be our wide receiver one, but he's battled injuries. You know, uh, and, and it's been tough. And then, of course, Mark was valid as scaling. You know, he's kind of supposed to be our big deep threat guy, but he hasn't been that this year. It's been really disappointing from him. Um, but he's just another guy who I, who I really love, I really support, and I really want to see succeed. Um, and, and while we're on the topic of Marquez Valdez scaling, um, you know, the, the, the way that he performed in that game against the Eagles, just the devastation that he experienced after that game losing drop. I mean, there, there is no doubt in my mind that at some point this season, I'm surprised it wasn't against the Raiders this past week, but at some point this season, we are going to get the ball in his hands I mean, 10, 12, 15 times. I'll tell you that right now because he uh, he's having a terrible season. I mean, let's just be honest. He is not having a good season at all. And I think that at some point, Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes, for morale purposes, they're going to say, let's just give this guy the football. Let's just feed him the ball. Let's get him a, you know, in a hundred yard receiving game because he needs that. He really does. He really needs that for his confidence. And I feel like having Marcos Valdez Gatling on our team, 100% confident and and, and, and just having him be at his best, um, that is something we really need in the playoffs. Because let's not forget, he had a he had a fantastic run last season in the postseason. I mean, uh, that, that game against the Bengals in the AFC Championship game, I mean, he he, he balled out. He, he had a great game. Over 100 receiving yards in that one. I mean, we haven't seen a game like that from Marquez Valdez Scantling since. We haven't seen it, okay? He, he's only got 248 receiving yards on the season. Um, so it, it's, it's not looking great for him so far. He's, ha he's had quite a lot of drops. I mean, let's be honest. He's had quite a lot of drops. Um, and then there's guys like Justin Watson on, on our roster. Justin Watson is a guy who, who's similar to Marcos Valdez Scanlon. He, he, he's kind of a deep guy, a, a deep threat type guy. He's been a little bit more efficient in terms of, uh, you know, uh, you know getting, getting those deep balls. But he's also had a lot of drops. I mean, let's not forget the couple of drops that he had last week against the Eagles. And, and you know, just... Everybody on this on the, on this uh, receiving core has had drops. I mean, let's be honest. So yeah, man. You know, uh, the, the the receivers, Rasheed Rice again it is my big bright spot. But everybody else, unfortunately, it would not surprise me to see them go uh, this upcoming offseason. Not at all. Um, but I mean, sorry for burying the lead here because the big the big thing about this team, the thing the, the the thing about this team that's really led us so far this season has been the defense. I mean, I cannot speak enough about the defense. Um, continuing to put us in positions to win the game. You know, uh, we had a little bit of a rough uh, start against the, the Raiders this past week. Um, you know, but you know what? Let, let's let's not, I mean, who am I to complain uh, about giving up, I mean, what was it, 350 yards or something to the Raiders? We haven't even allowed a team to get more than that so far this season. We have not allowed a team to get over 400 yards, um, which is just really, really good. I mean, that's fantastic from our defense. Not to mention, we haven't allowed a team to score more than 24 points, which is also fantastic, you know? Um, so it, it's just about building up confidence on offense, keep, keeping the, you know, keeping the consistency going and, and just letting our defense go out there and do our thing, you know, because we've got guys, we've got so many good good players on our defense. Drew Tranquil has been fantastic. Um, Charles O'Menehue, since coming back from suspension, has been excellent. 
Okay, he's a, a really good player. George Karloftis have has taken a really big step up this year. Of course, Chris Jones has been great. Um, and gosh, I just love our group. Legarius Sneed has been our number one corner man. He had a tough assignment this past week against Devontae Adams, but you know, other than that, he's been pretty locked down. So can't complain, man. Cannot complain at all with our defense. We've been fantastic. So you know, moving forward, it's just about gaining confidence. You know, getting our receivers back on track. Um, and continuing to win football games because uh, we seem to be, you know, despite the struggles on offense, we, you know, are, are continuing to do that, winning a lot of football games, looking like a championship season. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next Chiefs chat. Peace out.